Hi there, and welcome to Ask Bondi Vet, proudly brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. Pete Laser with you. And as always, one of our Bondi Vets joins us today, Dr. Danny. Danny, thanks for joining us. Not a worry. This is where you can get your answers to any pet question at all. And David's got a really good question. What is the healthiest food I can give to my dog? Is it always just the category that they fall under? Or are there certain ingredients that I should be looking out for? Great question, David. There's the million dollar question, that one. There are so many pet foods out there on the market now that it can be really difficult to make a decision on what's the best pet food for your animal. I guess the main goal is that we have a nutritionally balanced pet food uh, for, for your dog for that phase of life and that's going to suit them the most. So certainly can be a good idea to have a chat to your vet um, because depending on uh, other underlying illnesses or, or illnesses they can be at risk of, there may be a diet that's specifically designed for that. So that can help. What are some of the things that we should be looking out for on the labels? Certainly, I guess uh, ways to be sure that you're getting a nutritionally balanced uh, diet is if there's a AAFCO statement on the label. It's not on all of them, so uh, it's, you know, it's not the only way to make that decision, but it certainly gives you some confidence that there's been testing done on that diet, uh, either with feed tests or actual trials uh, in animals. So that's a really good peace of mind that yes, this diet is nicely nutritionally balanced. And Danny, what about homemade food? Because everyone loves giving a few little table scraps to their little furry friend. Absolutely. I guess if you are heart set on feeding an entirely home cooked diet, then I would definitely speak to your vet about getting a veterinary nutritionist on board to get a specific recipe made up so that you make sure that there's no deficiencies in vitamins and minerals, which can be really hard to do if you're just creating it by yourself. As far as table scraps, I tend to say to avoid them as much as possible. They are often very fatty, uh, so can add some calories and can cause issues with their health. Um, and they certainly, they don't need them. If you are going to give them a bit of a treat, something like some poached up meat or poached or steamed veggies are a nice sort of simple, um, safe option to give them. Are there any foods that should be categorically not given to your dog? Absolutely there are, and there's quite a few, so it can be hard to remember them all. Um, now, things you want to avoid are grapes. You wouldn't think it, but grapes can actually cause acute renal failure in dogs. So grapes as well as all their derivatives, so your sultanas, raisins, currants, you want to avoid all of those. Uh, other things to avoid include garlic and onion. They can cause anemia in dogs and cats, so you want to avoid those. Chocolate, of course, that's a big no-no. Uh, that can cause issues with their heart, neurological signs, depending on how much they've been given. Even small amounts of chocolate given regularly uh, can lead to heart changes as well. Other foods to avoid include macadamia nuts that can cause toxicities in dogs, as well as raw egg uh, that can lead to deficiencies. And there's also issues with getting salmonella and E. coli infections, those sorts of things. Uh, there's a few funny little things as well, like xylitol, which is an artificial sweetener in some things. So if you are feeding anything that's out of a packet, you wanna just make sure that's not in there as well. Um, so yeah, there's lots of things to remember. So certainly worth chatting to your vet and maybe getting a list of things on your fridge so you know exactly what not to feed. But healthy foods, healthy pet. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Danny. <laughs> no worries. If you've got a question, make sure you jump on the Bondi Vet Facebook page or of course our website, bondivet.com forward slash questions. Of course, if you've got any specific questions, make sure you check them out with your vet. We'll be back soon. Bye for now. This episode was brought to you by Bondi Vet Pet Insurance. Get your best friend covered today at bondivet.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.